Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast for a huge T20 Cricket World Cup team by team preview. We're going to cover every single team. I'm your host, Liam McCullion, also known as the Stats Guy. I'll start with uh, Marcus Barzana today. Very excited for the Aussies, but then a few other teams as well. How are you going, Marcus? Yeah, I'm very excited, although my name isn't included on the run sheet here. <laughs> so, oh, you're out. who you, did you that then? Yeah, I might have done that. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, yeah. see, yeah. see, <laughs> We're also here with Liam Malali. He's in the run sheet. Uh, he's actually going to be yeah, doing this show. How are you going, Liam? I'm surprised <laughs> that you didn't put Marcus in the run sheet, but still introed him. Good job, Ron. Yeah. Well done, <laughs> Ron Bergen. I used to read off the run sheet. I, I don't even need a run sheet. I reckon I can yeah. remember every all 20 teams. We don't even have to look at right, do it then. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Before we start, uh, be sure to get around this podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. YouTube, make sure you subscribe. We're talking about everyone's team here. So just exactly. get around it for that. You for know? the entire World Cup, we're not going to just cover Australia. We'll talk about every single team, all every 20 countries. Every single nation in the world. We, Even Oman, <laughs> isn't that right, Marcus? Even Oman. Every <laughs> single country except for Zimbabwe, oh, unfortunately, because they didn't qualify. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> when I his head. Because I was trying to concentrate. <laughs> anyway, make sure you subscribe. Road to 1000 on the Cricket Today uh, YouTube. YouTube yeah. I don't even know if we're anywhere near that. Yep. No, Road to 15k on TikTok. Yeah, 400 so get off on, the, on YouTube, aren't we? Roughly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We can get that yeah, easily oh, during the Cricket World Cup. 70. I mean. Yeah. So get around all that. Get around all the socials. Uh, and let's get right into it, though. It's no deal yelling. Let's get into it. The best team of all, Australia. The Aussies. Yep. Absolutely love it. You guys want to go through the squad first? Well, that's how, that's how we'll start things off. Well, it's a pretty experienced squad, isn't yeah. it? And, uh, yeah. And I've listed yeah. here, strength is that there is experience everywhere. They've won multiple World Cups. Mm -hmm. Some of these players are... Uh, Great batting order with, you know, Mitch Marsh, David Warner, Travis Head all at the top. And then with the bowling, you've got the Pretty sort of the standard. quartet. Yeah, you've got the – it's a bit boring, isn't it? You've got Hazelwood, Stark, Cummins, Zampa. Literally – It's a short format quartet. Yeah. Well, it, it just – they just know how to win. They, yeah. I, I do, think it's yeah. – I just counted then. I think it's 11 or 12 players in this squad have won a World Cup of some really? sort. Yeah, mm. in like I thought it would be more, actually. Oh, I'm going to go – would be Marsh, Agar, Cummins – David, Alice, Green, has he, did he win it? Has Alice? Has Alice? I, I reckon he was in the squad. Was he in the last one? He was in the squad, I reckon. He was in when, when yeah, anyway. Anyway, there's just so yeah. much experience, as you put, well, as the best Better strength. part of 85 plus percent of these players have won a World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this squad is that there's no Jay Crazen McGurk. Well, uh, yeah. He's, he's, he's kind of in there. He's a traveling, <laughs> yeah, but he's like, Fifth emergency. First reserve is uh, Jay is, Cartwright would so you, say. So yeah, every team gets a, yeah, he, he would actually. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a weird reference. 15 players every team gets, and then you also get, I think you can name as many reserves as you want, so. right? Yeah. Like you can yeah, go, oh, I think at least Sri Lanka have, have like, uh, like India four have five. four, yeah. yeah. Mm. So yeah, we've obviously named all the experienced guys, pretty much the same squad we've had for the last four, three years in this short format, big big tournaments. Yep. Then you got Fraser McGurk and Matt Short coming in uh, as the traveling reserves. Yeah, unfortunately, they might not get a game, but. I think they should be in that squad. Is, they should be in that squad. But is is this what separates Australia from other nations? Is the Depth. amount of experience mm, absolutely at yeah. the biggest stage? Whereas India, you know, they're sort of becoming known for choking yeah. in, in the big games, the finals. With no Dhoni, that's just like half your experience, isn't it? Right? Is there? it? Should they have brought back Dhoni? He's still good in the IPL, even though he's forty two. I feel like he's retiring every year and then he I just think, comes back. Yeah, I think bring him in, vibes man, vibes man, <laughs> like, like uh, the yeah. locks, yeah, 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 the keepers in the Carson Premier League. From, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from, yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, well, no. well, we'll get into India anyway. Uh, what about weaknesses there? Is there one weaknesses? Maybe? I just there's a bit to play out in terms of like the batsman to the bowlers to the all-rounder ratio. Like, do we play Soinus? Do we play Green? Where does Maxi bat? Is David at six or seven? There's, I don't know. There's a few bits to play out there. I think the top order is settled. Mm -hmm. I think the bowlers are pretty settled. But, yeah, if we, we've, we've got to find the right balance in that sort of middle to yeah. late order. I mm -hmm. think the depth, yeah, that's it's a good issue to have because you could have, like, a lot of people are arguing Wade over Inglis. Yeah. I'm on the Inglis bandwagon. I think you two are as well. Yeah. But I yeah. feel like they would – probably choose Wade for his experience and things like that. They, they could play both. That's yeah. the other thing. Like, yeah. You could play English at five, Wade at seven. Wade, yeah, know, Wade's like, played in teams where he hasn't uh, batted. Wade, Wade won us the previous... Uh, well, he got well, us there. He, he, he got, got us, us there. He, got us final, there. Yeah. Um, yeah. he also, against against Pakistan in the final, two World Cups ago, two yeah. 20, 20 World Cups ago, he won us the game. Did mm. he really? I don't yes. remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was in uh, in Dubai. Was yeah, he yeah. made, he made yeah. like 60 off... 20. Mitch Marsh. 30 oh, or... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He so, stormed his home. But experience, I thought, yeah. I think spinning is a big issue. Other than Zampa, yeah. Other than Zampa, you're just looking at a lot of part-timers. Mm. And, even, and even then, Adam Zampa, I'm... I At the national stage, international stage... The last year, yeah. I think he's yeah. not... I was going to put as good as other spin bowls. as an issue, but yeah. then I just realised we won a World Cup in India. 
True. Like, True. With the same with bowlers. With the same team. With Zampa, yeah. yeah. With Maxi Bowling. Yeah. And with uh, Travis Head. Yeah, so obviously playing options. in uh, the West Indies, which it is- It says slower. Slower. Is that good for spin, would you say? Good for spin. Yeah. Good for bowlers who can change Slow it up bowls. back of a length. Yep. So I think Cummins and Hazelwood. Alice is probably more suited to that, to be honest, mm -hmm. but I don't think he'll play. That's why I just didn't put spin as a weakness because I just feel like we did sort it in the- it. Yeah, the best spinning conditions yeah. in India. What, so what's, a, what's a pass mark for Australia? Win the whole make thing. The no, make, I, th make I think the make the final, final, which is a big call with 20 countries, but there's a lot of good teams. The amazing this. form in World Cups and with this team, is this this is probably like the last chance that this squad I said I no, think it's that last no, World Cup. No, this, that this still, squad, no, this like cricketers can play closer to 40, I reckon. Mm. Like you look oh. at look well, at Warner. Hazelwood's look, almost look, done. Yeah. <laughs> Some retiring players, no, lads. No, but they, they are. Stark's they? almost done. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they could surprise you. Okay, okay. Anyway. So yeah, we're saying probably make it to the final. We, why we, we can do that for each team. Oh, yeah, give a bit oh, of a pass, pass mark. mark. Pass mark is make the final. Semis. Do I think they will? I'm not sure. I need to think about it a bit more. Well, you, this, we got a whole show to uh, have a think about it maybe. Uh, the other <laughs> one I was going to ask you guys, the form and just mental and physical strength of uh, Maxi has been questioned. He obviously went home as well. Does he mm. just definitely, he's in the team? He's in the team. I think we team, all yeah. agree on that. Yeah, yeah he has to don't, don't read too much into IPL form. Mm. But although I do think it's a bit it's, of a worry, though. I do think it's like a at the same time it's more of an intimidation factor that this guy's playing well right now. It doesn't matter where it is, like he's hitting yeah. well. People are like, oh, maybe or we can get or out. He's, yeah, people are probably like, there's oh, no. nothing better to get your form up and going than smashing some team like Aman. Well, we do play Aman in the first we do game. Play, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So you know, but Glenn Maxwell <laughs> does rock up for Australia. Yes, he does. Like yeah. Afghanistan, in he did it on one leg. Yep. In Actually, the, yeah, he's ODI yeah, exactly. What are we there talking about? What are we and he can bowl. All right. Yeah, so that's the Aussies done. Pass mark. I think we've set on in the final, which is a big ask, but the it's form a, in World Cups yeah. is awesome. It is a big ask. Too many countries, when a lot of countries now are building their T20 we are, form. We are the second favourites, according to the bookmakers, I believe. Ooh. India favourites? India favourites. Yep. Oh, what a well, surprise. Let's get into India. Yeah, yeah. All right. Great segue oh, there. Oh, segue. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> no, I've said it. Oh, you've, 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 uh, what's it called? You've poisoned me to uh, talk like you. That's very annoying. Anyway, India, their squad always looks awesome. When you've yeah. got players like- It always like, looks good, but- they, they don't always perform. They always like to crumble in the semis. We've had a lot of comments on our other posts when we talk about India. They go, oh, are we going to win a final? Are we going to do this? They just haven't really performed in, in probably our lifetime yeah. in World Cup. So- They've got probably the best team on paper, but can they perform that? This squad is cooked though. It's like, unbelievable. How does yeah. Shubman Gill not make the squad? Shubman Gill, yeah. Rinku Singh are the traveling reserves, or not traveling, just reserves, I think. And they're missing out. But then you look at their team, you go, I don't know who I'd replace. It's just mm, an amazing yeah. lineup. Yeah. It, it's insane, isn't it? I've Yeah, I've written down here, strength is literally just their batting and spin bowling options. Like, yeah. They've listed Jadeja, Aksar Patel, Kuldeep Yadav, and Chahal. That mm. is... Four awesome all, spin options. Mm. All of those bowlers would be the best spinner at every other country. I think <sighs> Chahal is very underrated. Not Australia. I, I, I other think than Zampa, Zampa, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But, and then for the weakness, I've put in fast bowling depth because oh, that's harsh. It, it is harsh, but oh. they've listed really only three genuine fast bowlers okay. Ash Deep Singh, Jasprit Bumrah, and Mohammad Siraj. Yep. I'll get into this a bit later, but even though the depth isn't there, those bowlers have the change ups for these conditions. Yeah. So. And Jasper Boom is probably the most intimidating bowler. Yeah, he's your cricket. Oh my god! At the moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. N unless it's Mitch Stark in a final. Well, Mitch in Stark, yeah. India are ranked number one uh, in twenty twenty. In twenty twenty, are they? Okay, I'm um, gonna get that up. Yeah. Sky is Sky Yadav is the number one twenty twenty batsman. Um, yep. so they've they yep. have the capability to win it. They've got the uh, they've got the best win percentage out of twenty twenty games any nation. Yeah, like yes, sixty seven percent. Yeah, or something like that. That's awesome. Yeah. So. I've got the tools and they've got everything that says they can do it and win it. I just never do. This is where pass mark again is make the final. Is it? And sure. almost win it. With two Four. teams in out of the 20. I know. We're already, the 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 final. we're already predicting the final. That's yeah, the show like, over. That is. That is. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. I feel got, like for the other nations, it's more semifinals is a pass mark. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, people in, in like, if you're looking at an Aussie fan, for example, you're going to go, oh, we didn't make the final. That's a joke. Like, there'll be probably people angry. Whereas you look at some other countries, same as India. India just would go nuts. Well, they all think they're going to win everything and they haven't. But this team has to make the final. Yeah. Just those, like uh, Leo said, the guys that are missing out, it's just like, you could get some injuries and then you got Shubman Gill coming in. At, yeah. We could just come in at three or four. Rinku Singh, 
Yeah, I love this team. Jadeja, mm. I think, is going to be the standout player. Vera Cole is probably in the best 2020 form of his career. Mm. Yeah, in IPL, all. leading the IPL. I know you said Sky's number one player yeah. in the but world. But he wasn't great in the I IPL. I think Coley is right now key. is the hottest T20 player. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about his looks. Oh, sure. He has yeah. a very nice beard. <laughs> he does have a lovely beard. But right. no, a bit of both, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. He's very lucky Bubba's arm is not allowed to play in the IPL. Yeah, yeah, with his monobrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I shouldn't bag Bubba's arm. I love Bubba's arm. All right, next one. Uh, we've gone through Speaking India. Speaking of Bubba's arm. The enemy, Pakistan. The enemy? The oh, enemy of India. Run no, my us. fingers through his monobrow. Yeah. <laughs> <Jeez. All right. laughs> Talking about running through uh, his fingers, we're going to talk about Bubba's arm. Obviously, their squad hasn't been released Why yet. haven't they released their squad? What are they doing? Pakistan. Yeah. Are they like, going to bring out a surprise? Like, we got... Gary from the warehouse and he bowls 150, <laughs> 150. And, he's, and he's 14 years old. Like, what are they uh, doing? Maybe, maybe they had a, what was it? How old was uh, Nasim Shah? Nasim Shah, 16, when, he, 16 I mean? when he came over here. They might have a little surprise. Questionable package. 16, we'll just say that. But do you reckon he looks older, older than 16 at the yeah, time? I, I just doubt yeah. it. Anyway. <laughs> they, they, have, they, have, they have the quickest, fast bowling lineup. Yes. Heading to the World Cup. Yep. Yes or no? Put me on like, the spot. Nasim Shah, Harris Ralph. Harris Ralph bowls like Shah 150. Only one, yeah, they probably do, but um, Archer and Wood. Thing. Yeah, true. Yes. That's a good point. That's a good point. But yeah, we'll get into them. Yeah. yeah. Those pommy scum. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into that. We'll have to be nice of you. Maybe a little bit nice to them. Uh, <laughs> Pakistan, yeah. We obviously don't know the squad. The kit looks great. They did a kit release. Yeah, That's the only awesome. thing that they've really We'll be ranking kits. So we'll be ranking kits. going to be 11 socials? ghosts in the Pakistan kit. <laughs> 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 their squad. But who, who's going to be their most important player? We know the big names are going to be. I think Rizwan. Yeah. What was that? I think Mohamed Rizwan. Rizwan, yes. yes. Uh, Tom uh, that will be appearing on some of these shows while Leo's away. Uh, yeah, he loves Rizwan as He's well. Marcus is not going with Bubba Rizam. I think Mohamed Rizwan is number three. He's a better 2020 batsman. Yeah. I think he's a better 2020 batsman. Um. I think he could probably decide a game more than Bubba Azam with his explosiveness. They have to be the opening pair though, right? Because I feel yeah. like times they've gone Bubba at three or Bubba at four. Well, what do they do against? It has to be Bubba oh. and Rizwan at the top in my – oh, they do have youngster – I can't – pronunciation, bear with me. Sa right. Saim Ayub. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. But, yep. yeah, again, we'll have a look at what they went with against Ireland. Yeah, Ayub yeah, and Ayub, Rizwan. Ayub. Rizwan. But they might just be testing out Ayub. Ayub. He's like, a young player on the rise, but I just think Rizwan and Bubba, they've – when they bat together, it's magic. It is. <laughs> it is. It is and very exciting. I think yeah. we'll get into the pitch more and more as we di dissect it. But it, you need anchor like batsmen that can anchor in innings. Mm -hmm. Rizwan can do that. Baba can do that, and they can both hit when they want to hit as well. Yep. It's probably the start you need in these slower conditions, and then you use your heavy hitters to propel you. But yep. Yeah. No, nah, fair call. Mm -hmm. So we'll, if we go on strengths and weaknesses, I'd say strength top order. But then uh, it's that middle of the middle is the weakness yeah. sort of because yeah. as you get lower down, you're like, oh, Bubba didn't make any runs. Rizwan didn't make any runs. You're like, we, we really need to make runs at the top. Yeah. And then obviously their fast bowling cartel is their other strength. In recent years, yeah. they have struggled with the fifth bowler. Mm -hmm. Like you've got Shaheen Afridi. Yep. Muhammad Amir, is he playing? That will be a huge in. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of Pakistan listed. fans in our comments saying he's, he's going to have a big tournament. Play. That yeah. will be a huge in. Mm -hmm. Shadab Khan is one of the most underrated cricketers, I think. Yep. Naseem Shah, that fifth bowler, like Harris Ralph. He's hittable. He's so yeah, inconsistent. He's like, rough, yeah. That's probably just another weakness. Like if you where, get a bat, yeah. bat on ball against almost any of these three guys, it's definitely gone to the rope. Just yeah. pace off the bat. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. What's a pass mark do we think for Pakistan? I think well, is, is, it, is it weird? Do you think they know the squad now and yeah. they're just not releasing it? Well, I thought there would be a, a I reckon, limit. Yeah. I reckon they just want to see something out of the T20s that they've had. Yeah. Well, they've already, yeah, they've already finished those. I thought they were playing against England. Like oh, tonight, in the warm up game. Yeah, yeah. That's a, they have to announce the squad, don't they? In a warm up game. It'd be the most Pakistan thing to forget announcing the squad and then, and then they just they, forfeit. Yeah, no, they they have, they're not even allowed to yeah. Yeah, play because yeah, it would be. They've done yeah. some stupid uh, things in cricket over the years. All right, so what, what, yeah, what do we think is a pass mark? Semis? Oh, semis. What they finish? What did they the finish? Semis? They finish runners up against, obviously, when they lost to Australia. Yeah, they finished England. runners up to England. Runners up. I was runners at, up at the MCG for that match. That was the best. Same Shah bowled the best spell and did not get rewarded for it. That at was all. amazing. Mm. I hated that game because Ben Stokes won the game, but <laughs> he should have been out so many times the way the ball went past. <laughs> You're that not back. wrong. You're not yeah. wrong. So we'll say semis or maybe. So they got the, yeah. you got yeah. semis, semis. semis. You go from the group stage to Super Eight. We'll definitely think they're going to go with, through with India in their yes, group. Yes. Yes. But then was it Super? Was like quarters? Is that yeah? Super pretty eight, much. Yeah. 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 And then you got semis after that. Yeah, it's going to be tight. Sure. It'll be tight. But I, I think, think semis. All right, semis. Fair enough. All right, so they, they won't have to play. They won't have to play India either in the quarter. In the group yeah. stage, but not. Yeah, not after that. So that's handy. Yeah. 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 All right. So we're going Pakistan, but release your squad. Come on. What are you? What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, all right. England. D 
Definitely not our favourite uh, team in the world as Aussies and right, Ashes and things like that. Let's, <laughs> go. Let's get to New Zealand. We've got to, we got to actually focus here and actually said shed some light on actually they've got some good players in some good form. Yeah. They do. They've, they've, they've always got have... some bad players out of form. Yeah. Like, like who? Well, I've, I've listed that. Okay, so we'll team. have a look at their squad. You've got Josh Butler, captain. He's been a star. He's for been in form. Yeah. Most of their team are just T20 specialists, which I always love about the English team. Joffre Archer back in. It's going to be interesting. What's his form? What's, What's his he form? been doing? He's been injured for two years pretty much, so that'll be interesting. I yeah, remember seeing him. The scariest, scaredest, oh my God, I can't even talk. Most scared <laughs> I've ever been was seeing Joffre Archer bowling to Steve Smith and knocking me out at Lords. That is one of the craziest things ever. So if he can find that form where batsmen are literally scared to face him, then he'll be probably like one of the best bowlers yeah. in the whole tournament. But as you said, Leo, he hasn't played much at all. So is that a, is that a bit of a weakness? I think it is. And to speak to the, the form of some players, yes, they've got, Players in form like Will Jacks, Sam Curran playing well in the IPL. IPL yep. uh, Phil Salt as well. Mm -hmm. But then Moen Ali, his form wasn't great in the IPL. Archer, as we said. Harry Brook, what's he been doing? Like He uh, was, yeah, because he's been injured as well, hasn't he? I think he so. He pulled out well, of the Truffa, big bash. Truffa Archer's even been playing like second, club cricket. Yeah, yeah club second, Premier cricket. Like, you know, like, second uh, county level, which, why is he playing in the twos? And know. Livingston's another one who's kind of flown under the radar. A couple of years ago, we were saying he's the best all rounder in T20 cricket. Yeah. Now, like he's hasn't played in many tournaments. Yeah. Hasn't like he was with Dude, Punjab. Did he play at the Perth Scorchers when he was in? The yes, yes. Yeah. He was at Punjab mm -hmm. um, in the IPL, but did not have a, a good tournament. So, no. form of those key players is going to be and interesting. Moeen Ali should be sitting on the couch with his son watching this game on the TV. Yeah, no, I agree. He's old and not good Look, anymore. They've got a good mix How of they've got a good mix of age here in the squad. Yeah, like with young and old. But I look at the squad and I'm just not. It's explosive. I'm not though. excited though. Oh, really? I'm pretty excited no, for I'm Will Jacks. I'm excited for Will Jacks. I'm, I'm excited not, I'm not for Joffrey Archer. There's a lot. I just think it's an explosive yeah. team. Like you've got probably Butler and we'll say but maybe Duckett at the top. Are they just names you've got now? Got though. You know, you've got uh, Sam Curran. Oh, Bearstow. You can't come. Yeah, <laughs> you want to come talk on, about Bearstow? He did really well for Punjab. He did pretty well for Punjab. Don't want to talk about him. Like he's a flog, but like he's a good cricketer. We have to acknowledge that. Yeah. And in the middle that. order, like you've got Will Jackson form, Sam Curran can bat anywhere. Yeah. Good all rounders. The, it's it, it is an exciting team. I think it's. I don't know if it's a like a title winning team. Yeah. It has the potential to, but it also has the potential to bow so, out in the Super Eight, like they did last in the ODI World. All right. Cup. So, they're so, so you're yeah. thinking past Mark semi final? I think it has to be. Yeah. I think semi final. I think who else can make it? But no, but you can. Have, you, can have, you can have. A pass mark. Four teams as a pass mark to make the semi-final because yeah. that's that's their level. If they yeah. don't make it, then they fail. So, yeah, their level is pushing at least for the semi-final. Yeah, that's that's what we're saying. My level oh, I is think, if, I think if they, they should be pushing make, for the final. Yeah, if they don't make okay. the semi-final, I think it's a fail. Yeah, yeah. Correct. yeah, I agree. There is still a few guys here. Like, like we're talking about Will Jacks. I know he's been good in IPL, but he hasn't. Has he been amazing for England? No. no. So, but he's in form. Reece Topley, Salt. Like Salt's already been okay. And Jackson is the exact type of player that, that mm. these conditions will suit with his bowling and his batting style. And they do have, they do have the number one 2020 bowler in uh, in the world, Adil Rashid. Adil Rashid. Yeah. What he about Adil Rashid? Right yeah, he yeah. does. He does. He, he can change it up so well for a leggy. So. Uh, even though I think they're the third favourites according to the bookmakers, but like are they considered, I can't even if I'm saying this, but like a dark horse? Just no. beat the powerhouses. No, they're they're still a powerhouse. I still think, they are a powerhouse. I still think they're like the fourth or fifth best team. Not 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 in the odds, but I think mm. I think they are. But anyway, we'll get into that. So pass mark semifinals are around yeah, that, around the mark. It has to be around the mark yeah, of the yeah. four best teams is what we're saying. Yeah. All right. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, now we're getting to New Zealand. We gave England a bit of credit there, so that's all right. <laughs> New Zealand, uh, obviously, captained by Kane Williamson. He's dropped off a little bit of form, which is uh, yeah, sad because he's went absolutely great. How player. many New Zealand players will you two retire in this uh, in this <laughs> Because you just love finishing up New Zealand players. <laughs> I'll tell you who I won't retire is Rachin Ravindra. <laughs> he dominated the last World Cup. No one even ODI knew his World name. Cup. Yep. ODI World Cup. It wasn't Cup. ODI World Cup. T20 World Cup. But he was playing it like ODI. a T20 World Cup. He, he, you know, actually, he is only one of two players that are different from the last 2020 World Cup squad. So that means they're old. It's just this. It's similar wow. to Australia. It's always the same bowlers. They've got the pretty much the exact same squad yeah. as the last World Cup, except for I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And no. Matt Henry. Yeah, I don't. I think, think I don't think there's, there's anything wrong with it. Bit either. of experience. I think yeah. like, it's good to keep everyone in the same. Yeah. Well, you've said that in the strengths, Leo. Experience, yeah. Yeah, yeah balanced side. Um, they've got some young stars, as you mentioned, Ravindra, yeah. Finn Allen as well. Sort yeah. Of taking that Martin Guptill role. Yeah. 
Um, and then the experience, you know, Trent Bolt, who I adore. And if you're watching this, Trent, I love you. <laughs> yeah, he will be watching this. Uh, yeah. Sal, the experience. Sat like, now, you know, Phillips as well is like a good bat. So like, Conway and Mitchell, they've both got plenty of experience. They, it's a really well-balanced side. The weakness I put in is, do they just have that lack of like, that killer edge. Because yeah. you look at Australia and when the, the game's on the line, you've got Stark ripping well, in, you've even got Cummins, you've Tim got David, head smacking like, it everywhere. Tim David against Tim New Zealand. David. Like yeah. no one stood up for New Zealand when Tim David was. Like, did New Zealand have that like, if it's a do or die final, no, is don't. Tim Southey going to bowl an absolute thunderbolt to get someone out? No, he doesn't bowl He's fast enough. He's a great enough. bowler, but yeah. he doesn't bowl fast enough. But mm. the other thing is with their batters, a lot of them are very good at home, but they're playing on rugby grounds that are a lot yeah. smaller. I just, I just want to see if Finn Allen, for example, Finn Allen was like even going really well against Australia. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing them playing on a big circle ground, not a stupid square ground in New Zealand. Is it going to be big? Yeah. They're, they're, Wendy's grounds? Well, a lot bigger than the New Zealand grounds, which are the smallest in the world, I think. Interesting. Yeah, well, I, their fielding is what's going to have to bring them to that level where if they've got any chance of... Actually, they were horrible Because they were horrible against, against Australia. Australia. They're normally good fielders. Like, yeah. Glenn Phillips is one of the best fielders in the world. Yeah, yeah. And he was yeah. horrible in that series against Australia. Well, mm -hmm. horrible's a bit harsh, but... Uh, well, a couple bad, there, Because if I was doing it... They, well, no, it, cost, it, cost, it cost New Zealand the game. A couple did, of mistakes. Yeah, he, he did. He did. And he's a great fielder. Ravindra is, is a solid yeah. fielder. Like, mm. yeah, I don't know. They're not. The, they're definitely not the worst fielding side. So, yeah. They're yep. just not exciting again. So you don't think England are exciting? You don't think New Zealand are? Oh, England oh, are exciting. I'll give you like, New Zealand, like, but I'll give who you- Who are like, they? Like New Zealand, who are they like? Yeah, that, I agree. Who's going to go to players strike, right? that are like, I'm looking wow, at, like I want to watch him. I want to watch Finn Allen play. Finn Allen's- I want to watch Ravindra play. Yeah. And yeah. I know he does. All, I love boy, Ravindra. Oh boy. I <laughs> love him more than the few Aussie players. But you have a look at some of their batters. Like they weren't great throughout the IPL either. Yeah. Well, Darryl Mitchell was poor. Ravindra was probably underwhelming. Yep. Especially the stats guy standards, but mm. who's going to yeah. keep? Ah, uh, you don't need a keeper. No, actually, who they didn't they rotate? Uh, well, Glenn Phillips can, can, can keep, but he can Phillips bowl. Can keep. He's a, I'd rather have him bowl. Have him bowl. Who, who did they? Who do they have? Keeping? Someone here earlier. Really. They had. Um, does Chapman keep? Yeah, maybe actually. I don't think he does. You know. Oh, we'll, we'll have to look. There's probably well. someone really obvious here that we're missing. <laughs> Conway, no. No, we. Are, I think Conway. Conway. Yeah, Conway. Conway. Conway was keeping. Yeah, there we go. There we go. But Conway's not like, I don't think he's a specialist keeper. Comment if I'm wrong, but I don't think he's like a, like being a main keeper throughout his entire life. Well, in the in the most recent series against Pakistan, they had Tom Blundell keeping. Tom Blundell. I don't mind with Tom Blundell. Got a bit of time for him. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. Um, no, he's not I, in the I had a look at and, and Tim Safer. They actually oh, yeah, Tim they Seifert. shared it around. They shared it around a bit. They shared it around. I had a look at um, Finn Allen. 165 strike rate. Yeah, so he's I think if, he, if he can stay at that, then he's going to be their well, X factor. He, he can is. stay at that, but the problem is that 165 strike rate is like 25 of 10, and when you Rather probably need like a big score from 30, 50 of 25 yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Now, fair enough. Uh, so, what's their pass mark? When? When with that one? Uh, semi final. Semi final. Yeah. Another semi final team. I, yes, I, as I said, you, you can have many teams have I'm a pass go, mark of semi final. I'm going to say less than that. I just, I think. Like I've said well, before, I think, I think this squad's eight. getting old. They don't have <sighs> T20 specific players. I think you're letting them off your stats, guys. They got a. They've got. They got. They got a fairly easy group, don't they? Uh, I think it's no. I think they'll make it out of their group, obviously, but I don't think they're going to be right up there. In this yeah, they've got West, an easy group. West yeah. Indies, Afghanistan, Uganda, yeah, Papua it. New Guinea. Their pass mark is. They'll lose to West Indies. That, that that's uh that might be my big call later on. Ooh. There we go. All right. Next one, South Africa. Leo, for some reason, has always had a soft spot for the uh, South Africa. No, 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 I wouldn't say soft South spot. I just said, AB de Villiers. Yeah, I love AB, but he's not in the bloody squad, is he? No, <laughs> no he's not in the bloody squad, apparently. Um, Aiden Markram, captain. Really good squad. Pretty good yeah. depth. I, I don't have a soft spot for them. I was just trying to talk myself into whether they could win the whole thing. Okay. We'll find mm. out later. I don't they know they, they haven't They haven't made the, final, the World Cup finals since, since 2014. Yeah. And they've, they are Ten also, years. they're similar yeah. to India, like to crumble in the big games. What I would say is though, this, the 11 I think they're going to put out is very balanced. Mm -hmm. You've got set openers, set middle order bats, lower order bats, and you've got five. Class awesome. and coming in from mm -hmm. Red Hot Hopefully Form from the Sunrise. Hopefully number four, not number six. Reza Hendrix yeah. as well. Yeah. Like it's a, it's a very well structured team. I was considering having them winning the whole thing because mm -hmm. I like their team. Yep. But I don't know if it's going to be a team that excels in these conditions, look at their bowling. Rabada and Nortia. Yeah, if if Rabada doesn't fire, they no, but they are great bowlers, right? They are, they are like, express, but not do you change need express no. on these conditions. Exactly. But like, Rabada is one of the best short format bowlers. He is, but is he like suited for 
these carabine. I think yeah, it's 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 sort of like we'll have to see a few games yeah. before we can answer that. And they need. I don't know if they've got a batsman that can anchor in innings. Like De Kock is very much go 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 from the top. Yep. Markram similar. Class and we've seen he's just berserk when he gets on in the yeah. He, Same he, with Stubbs as well. I hope Stubbs plays. They can both go two hundred strike rate. Yeah. Again, Stubbs, yeah. Stubbs could be one that he's awesome in the IPL and then fails for South Africa. Yeah, Aiden Markram as well. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I like. I really like this team, but yeah, so do I. It's how they go in these conditions. I think yeah. What you said about the fast balls. You got Nokia, Rabada, Jansen. Who else have you got? It's well missing? balanced because you got two fire quicks and then yeah. you got left arm with Jansen. But well. I think you're right about. In these conditions, you need to do a few slower balls or a few chain, yeah, maybe out yeah. the back of the hand, which I don't think Rabada has that in, yeah. his, in his arsenal. It's, it's yeah. very much like what you said with Pakistan, Marcus. Just use the pace of the ball mm. and that you can score your boundaries a lot behind square. Yep. Mm. Yeah, right. for sure. What's the pass, Mark? Again, probably make semis. Like, oh. No, I think it is. I yeah. Think yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I think, they have, they, I think they're, they're going to be better than... definitely good enough. Like, yeah. Like, them, the six teams we've talked about are all... Like the best probably they six, can all yeah. win it. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I'm I think saying they're going to be semis. better than New Zealand, okay. South Africa. I think they've got an easy group. Yeah, and they've got a very easy group because you got what is it, West Indies, Sri Lanka. No, that so West do, Indies do, is the, New Zealand. Is they have the potential to be the best. Or, as well. No, 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 they're in there. They're in that group because West Indies are in the New Zealand group. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. They have Sri Lanka and Afghanistan, I believe. Yeah. No, all good. All yeah. good. No, Bangladesh. Sorry, but they they should top that group. Yeah, no, they will. They will. They will. Okay, they will. What do you mean? Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. I know it's World Cup. Actually, maybe they won't. I'll get into it. Uh, someone that we're going to talk about. Oh, there you go. All yeah. right. Uh, Afghanistan. Next I like one. Afghanistan. You, you like Afghanistan though? Yeah. They, they're probably captain. my second favorite team. Rashid Khan is probably one of the most loved cricketers in the world. When he comes to the <laughs> Big Bash, dominates with the Adelaide Strikers. I absolutely love watching him. And then they've got a couple other guys. Majib is awesome. Their spin is good, isn't it? Spin is amazing. They've got probably a couple of the best spinners in this whole tournament. Khan, they got Nabi still. Nabi. Noor Ahmed. Mm -hmm. mm. And yeah. then the, the bowling... Faisal Huck Faruqi played for the Thunder, Sydney Thunder. Is he the one with the slinger Malinga action? No, no I think he's left arm. Left arm, okay. And yeah. he, he's a really good death bowler. Yes, that's and right. And then you've got yes. Naveen Al Huck, who's a really good death bowler too, but he's right arm. And the bowling is not too bad, to be honest. It's very good bowling, mm. yeah, yeah. It's come a long way, let's say that. Afghanistan got to give him have come a long way yeah. in cricket in general, yeah. I think yeah, they, yeah, they, finished sorry, the, sorry, they finished one game outside of the ODI World Cup. Yeah. Uh, Finals. Yeah, and if, it's awesome. And the yeah. They had Bob Australia England. on the ropes. They so, did. Yeah, that was yeah, against yeah. was Maxi's game. Yeah, if they, if yeah. they well, they probably still wouldn't have made it through based on net run rate, but if well, they, they could have. They, they could have got Australia out for a hundred because they had a yeah, seven yeah, for yeah, ninety. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually crazy yeah. that they how much they've improved in the past. You go, ah, oh, you just quickly easy go beats, through it. Yeah, easy beats, but they've just built. It's because a lot of guys in the world now. T20 is taking over, obviously mm. cricket, and everyone's talking about they all their guys are playing in some of the biggest tournaments. Yeah, they've invested a lot in that as well. Also want to talk about um, Gerbaz, who actually replaced Phil Sott for Kolkata. Yes, mm. he um, did, yes. He's a really good top order bat. He's young. He's a keeper for him. Just one to watch as well, um, alongside Omazai as well, who's an all-rounder, I believe. So there is some talent there. That's there not is bad. Some talent. They've got what's, form. What's a pass, Marco? This is a tough one. I, I think it's one. I think they're going to- The rest of the group, so yeah. playoffs, finals. I think like they- Super 8? Top two of the group. Super 8. They'll get to the Super yeah. 8. Yeah, I think. They've got to make it past the group stage. That's Let's have a look at their group. It is, it, it, yeah, you, they've got enough good players where you can't really let them off with like, oh, you bowed out in the, you know, group mm. stage. So that's why they have got the West Indies, New Zealand, Uganda, yeah, Papua for, New Guinea. They, I oh. think personally, I think they pass marks they, make it through. I think they make it through that group over the West Indies. I know the Windies are at home, but I, I think because it's like Windies it. at home, they've been really bad, and we're going to talk oh, about yeah, that. Yeah, it's tough. Isn't I it? think yeah. the Windies will be top two with. Uh, New Zealand, obviously we already talked about them. But yeah, Afghanistan, they're not bad. Mm. They're, I think that'll be- Windies versus Afghanistan, Afghanistan is going to be a good game. will be a yeah. lot of people's second team. A lot of Aussies, a lot of uh, yeah. Kiwis. Or maybe not Kiwis because they're in the same group, but some other countries Windies well. versus Afghanistan, mm. I reckon. Oh, big mm. game. Oh, really talking about Washington. the Windies? Yeah, I'm talking about the Windies. We'll get into them right now. <clears throat> uh, I'm not saying your, your word. You said you it already. That's all that matters. I, did, I already <laughs> said it before. Uh, you got Robin Power, the captain. I don't know why I keep talking about the captains. I just like talking about their, yeah, their best players. Good. Good to you got have the both, both Josephs. We love talking about Shamar Joseph. He literally was the talk of the town yep. in uh, Australia when he was over here. I could just talk about him for half an hour, but we probably should talk about some other ones. What do you guys reckon about West Indies lads? Oh, they're such a mixed bag. I know. Like, they, I know. They, they didn't make the what are you get? They didn't make the ODI World Cup. Yeah. Although the 2020 squad probably looks a little bit more refined and yeah. they just got like players who can do everything. That's mm -hmm. what's so good about um, West Indians in general. It's just that they're so, so many all rounders, naturally yeah. gifted at, at cricket. Yep. 
Um, so I want to see them do well uh, because everyone loves when the West Indies play well, no matter if you're going back from the 1980s. Fun. They or are so now. fun, yeah. The, I, I uh, think the biggest uh, factor here is Nicholas, Nicholas Perran, friend of the show. I reckon he's he the always big, biggest on. factor? Yep. I think he is because he could be one of the, he could be the best batsman in this tournament. Where does he bat? Uh, I'm not asking whether you know or not. I'm just asking no, no, no. where uh, should he bat? Four. Four? I think just just like it's not that maxi role yeah. where I think he doesn't four, have to knuckle yeah. down because hopefully someone in the top three has made an okay score and he can just come in. Actually, I wouldn't even mind putting him like five, even five or six. I reckon just, four. Just to come in because he, he can just go from ball one. That's what yeah. I absolutely love I'd about him. I'd put Hetmeyer at five and him at four. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. But their batting lineup genuinely looks really good. You've got Dre Russ who's been in great form for Kolkata. You've got uh, who? Hetmeyer's been decent. The all-rounders are some of the best. You've got mm. Dre, Russ. Dre Russ. Yeah. You've got Akil Hussain. Yep. Great bowler. He was great for the uh, Renegades. Renegades, yes. Yeah. And he's a good bat too. Mm -hmm. Jason Holder. Uh, you've got uh, Alzari Joseph with the ball. Yep. There's some really good quality in this. Shamar Joseph actually showed that he can hit a bomb as well. Yep. When he's he just started teeing off in the test matches. So I genuinely have high hopes for this team. I know they didn't even make, what was it, the last T20 World Cup? They've won two. Well, they didn't make the ODI World ODI Cup. ODI World Cup, sorry. They've won two World Cups before, in equal yeah. most with England, which is very surprising uh, considering they've been so up and down in form. So was they like, uh, but, 2016, they won their last one? Yep. And then they're just T20 specialists, West Indies. You go, oh, yeah, who, who's this uh, West Indian player? Oh, I only see him just do all the just all the roots of all the, uh, like all they, the different IPR. Yeah, yeah, they all, they all play in the, yeah. the biggest 2020 yep. leagues in the world. The yeah. only thing is a lot of those players who do play in all the 2020 leagues around the world aren't in great form and that's just I, like well, Nicholas Perrin has been, been amazing yeah no I think he's been hasn't he been really I swear he's been really good in the IPL he's been a little bit he underwhelming had a 60 of 28 I think yeah, yeah but maybe not as consistent as uh, they would like but yeah I think they're going to go right what do we reckon the pass mark for the Windies it's uh, same make with it Afghanistan right yeah make it out of the group has to be I yeah. think they'll make it over Afghanistan I think they could yeah it's tight they'll push it? I think do they're they, do be they have the strong. potential to top the group yes I think because it's at home They've got really good bowlers. That it's just, New Zealand, right? They're continuing. Yeah. With? Yeah. yeah, I think they do. I think yeah. they'll pu they'll push New Zealand for that top. My of worry with them is they're like their bowlers aren't very economical. Like Alzari Joseph's hitable, yeah. Shamar Joseph's hitable. Yeah. Like, but I don't know. They have a good home record. They've been some. I think they've been beaten England multiple times in short formats. Who, who opens for them? Like Brandon King, Johnson Charles, like uh, Shy Hope. Else? Shy Hope, I think should open. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like. The opening partnership might be a little bit of a concern. Oh, fair anyway, right. yeah. Well, yeah. they play South Africa in a warm-up series. When's uh, that? So that it, uh, first game's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. nice. There you so go. So no, that should be a good indication of where the West Indies squad's at. All right. Yeah. Actually, we'll have Again, a look someone at someone who we think should make top four. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how they go, and we can uh, yeah, yeah have a look at that one. All right. Last one before we have a quick break. Sri uh, Lanka. Two more. Or two more. We're going to do Bangladesh as well. Yes. Sri Lanka. Uh, Hasaranga. Obviously, their captain. I think he's a, he's a great captain. He's really good in the short formats. How do we think Sri Lanka is going to go? They're always so inconsistent, aren't they? They're, them and West Indies, you just don't know what you're going to get from them. But they, they won the Asia Cup yeah. in 2022. And then they didn't do anything after that. And then they just failed to make uh, they beat India. Playoffs. They beat India. Oh, my God. I'm on board the Sri Lanka train. Are Ooh. you? I'm on board. Oh, we'll get into the sort of big calls later on. Yeah. What are some strengths? Why, Str why are you so big on them? I think they've got players for the conditions. Simple right. as that. They've yep. got Hasaranga and Thig Shana, two quality spinning options. Yep. Uh, De Silva, Dananane, oh, I the pronunciation. That's right. Dananjaya De Silva. Perfect. Yep. Another spin option. They've got batting that can anchor in innings. I think Nisanka can anchor. Mendes. Mendy. Mendy. Yeah. Mendy. Yeah, because of Mendy, isn't it? Or Mendes. Is it Mendes? Mendes. I always call Read it Mendy. Read the run sheet. Yeah, I know, but I thought it was Salanes. I don't know. <laughs> French. I don't know. Yeah. I, I thought it was. Mendy. No, nah, I think uh, it's Mendes. Asalanka yeah. as well. Like, good old Angelo Matthews pumping away. How old is Angelo Matthews? He's near 40. He's the uh, MS Dodi of Sri Lanka. How, and I think Dasun uh, Shanaka, I think he was the captain recently. So 36. must have changed that over to Hasaranga. So, jeez. They're my dark horse, Sri Lanka. I'm calling it. Dark I'm horse the, for what though? Like just to have fun. <laughs> just to have fun. <laughs> dark have horse have fun. fun. Get oh around them. Nah, why not? They'll be exciting to watch. I'm gonna, okay. I'm, I'm, this is my, just for the boarding, this is my last show before I go away. And oh. just every time oh. I go away. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm not going to be I don't keep going. I don't have a, don't have a cry. Well, now I've lost my point. So <laughs> they don't, they don't make it out of the group. Now, every opinion. time Sri Lanka do something good, just think of me. Think of, okay. think of you. All right. Yeah. Well, there's no doubt you'll send us some messages. And there's no doubt that you'll never think of me because Sri Lanka probably won't do anything. Although, <laughs> they probably had the best group that they could ask for. 
Yeah, they do in, have a good group. Easy group, group they? Bangladesh, Netherlands, Nepal, and then South Africa will finish first. But it's they just got to beat Bangladesh. Could Netherlands, they and Nepal. beat South Africa and finish first? No. I, I think they so. are. I'm calling it. They're doing it. They just talked North, up South Africa. Africa. I just talked up South Africa for Sri Lanka. They will shock the world. They will oh shock my God. God. This is you, good... you, the USA, the whole new audience, and Canada. All their fans are going to come, and they're going to be like, "Damn, Sri Lanka must be like a top three team <laughs> because they're going to they're going to shock the world." A classic Sri Lanka move in this tournament would be to beat South Africa. And then lose Who's to Nepal. Nepal they, they, exactly. they only have, would be. They only have be. one batsman ranked in the top 20 for 2020. And after this tournament, they'll have 10. 10 batsmen. Kusel <laughs> Mendes is the only batter in the top 20. I do miss um, Kusel Pereira for Sri Lanka. Anyway, we're probably yes. speaking too much about Sri Lanka. Yeah, that's on you, but that's probably. all right. Uh, They're my new RCB. So <laughs> you're saying you got big hopes. Pass mark. Uh, Make it out of the group. No. Final. <laughs> pa- uh, with that group. Pass mark is making it out of the group. Yeah, with that group, yeah. it's making it out so of the group. So Super 8. Yeah, I agree. I think they just got to make the Super 8. But you're right. They've got a lot of good short final players. I don't think their depth is very good to go on to that you know, oh. semi-finals and things like that. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think our depth enough. in hosting this show is very good. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I'm getting passionate. He's, throw, he's throwing uh, fire do you have flames. A, don't you have a Sri Lanka top? I do actually. Just send it to me. I just want to wear it. Yeah. All right. It'd probably fit you better than me. It's like an extra, extra, extra. Hey, <laughs> no, I don't because it's all. I don't because it's all. I didn't mean it like that. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, last one. We definitely need a break because Leo's lost his mind talking about Sri Lanka that much bloodier. Bangladesh. So I'm going to talk down Bangladesh. First thing I'm going to say about Bangladesh is lift your game. They yeah. lost to USA yesterday. No, that's USA. Fine. No, it's not fun. USA are coming into this tournament probably as the <laughs> second lowest ranked team, I think. Uh, or the third lowest, lo- yeah, they're not good, USA. Yeah. Bangladesh have been playing at the highest level for such a long time. You got Shanto as captain. You got uh, Shakib, who Leo doesn't like. Nah, He's done a few a controversial just, things. Yeah, it gives me flog vibes. Yeah, what what do we actually think about Bangladesh? Like, <laughs> Not great, is I it? I know, I always want them to this do is, well. Why? They're just, why? A, they're I just want a nation that I want them to, to do well in. Yeah, okay. I don't know half these players that they- that I love their like logo. Don't they have the, the tiger? They do, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, have the, 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 the tigers, yeah. The tigers, yeah, yeah. I think- Shakib's obviously, I know you said you don't like him, but he's an absolute star. They do have some good players mm. like Tarskin Ahmed, Bowls Quick, Litton Dust is a good bat. Yep. Sumya Saka, I don't know his pronunciation again. Yep. Roast me if you want in the comments, but he's a he's a good cricketer. And the Fizz. The Fizz, Raman. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's great. a great bowler. Great bowler, yeah. What else do they have though? Like, I don't know. I think their batting depth let them down against USA the other yeah, day. They've, yeah. they've got a lot of guys that have really good longer format. I think. Do they? Like, well, like, <laughs> not really good, but like better at the long. Like they're not they're, gonna, yeah, they're more test players. They're not going to have a 200 say. strike rate. Well, Sha- Shakib's the, the number one all ranked all-rounder. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, he's still oh. he's still going really well. Damn. Yeah, yeah Leo just doesn't like him. Get Hasaranga in there soon. <laughs> Get Hasaranga. Yeah. Where's, where's he ranked? Where's he ranked? Hasaranga. Quick, quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, Shakib, yeah. Shakib's definitely got to be one Second. of the best players. Second, my man. There I'm on go. him. There you go. Well, equal first, I think. Ah, there you go. First on two So what, you take Hasaranga over Shakib? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Is that just because you don't like? Shaquille? To be fair, in this list, Marcus Stornis is sixth. So that who would you take so, out of out of all those like Shakib or Shakib's had a better career than Hasaranga, but I just like Hasaranga better. All right, uh, we've yeah we've talked about them enough. Yeah. Pass mark for Bangladesh. What do we reckon? Uh, let's have a look at their, their group. group. Is pretty tough, isn't it? No, so it's one of the easier groups. Yeah, it's with Sri Lanka it's and South Africa. Oh, oh, it's, it's the, honestly the, group too, yeah. the pass mark is to make it out of the group. Hmm? But okay. uh, they won't. They'll be terrible. Yeah, I agree. I think Netherlands might beat them. Netherlands, yeah, yeah, which we'll get into later. Yeah, I think that'll be a, a sneaky one. Nepal, even. They've got a uh, couple no, of decent no, players down there. No, 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 settled. No, yeah. no, they lost no, to USA, Leo. Come on, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's how we know far. we need a break when you're saying ridiculous stuff. All right, like good that. point. <laughs> that's Stumps for the Cricket Today Show. We'll be back with this for some huge tournament predictions for the T20 World Cup. Make sure you get it right around the show. Send in any questions. And uh, thank you very much to everyone that's on the show. Thanks to me. It's another episode of Cricket Today. Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows on the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.